What would happen if you woke up tomorrow or the next day and Rome research was gone, all your data was gone, right? Would that be a problem? I would bet so. I know it would be for me. And that's why backing up or exporting your data, no matter what service you're using, can be so important. It's not always going to be the fault of the service, but perhaps it's shutting down. You weren't paying attention for a while. You've got legacy information, or maybe something was hacked, or maybe it is their fault and something happens in the future. But regardless, it's up to us to make sure that our data remains ours. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Gaining access to your information doesn't have to be some big ordeal. It doesn't have to be a huge pain in the butt, but it is up to you. Now, there may be some services where you have some automated backup methods. Great, make use of those, but make sure that you're checking that they're actually working. But in most cases, you're gonna have to do some of this manually and it's a balancing act. So on the one hand, you want to have your most up-to-date data, right? You don't want to lose a year's worth of data if a service goes down. So you need to kind of figure out, okay, how long could I go before it becomes a real problem? If it's your personal notes, maybe it's not a big deal if you lose a week or two. Um, maybe you could go a month. Who knows? That's up to you. I would just get a feel for that and then, you know, see how you feel about that and look back maybe through your notes for a couple of weeks and be like, how big of an issue would that be? Now, if it's some business information, it may be the case where you need this backed up daily. Um, depending on what you're doing, could have some mission critical stuff in there, could have client information, who knows? There's all sorts of reasons why you would want to back up more frequently. So again, take a look at that, see what makes sense for you. Now, the second part of this is to balance it against how you're gonna be doing these backups. If it is manual, maybe daily is too much, right? Maybe it's going to be just uh, too much of a pain point or it's gonna take too much of your time or could you get someone else to help you do that? Um, but balance that against how much of a pain it's gonna be a pain point for you if you lose your data for a week or more than a day or a month or whatever that is versus what you have to do. And then thirdly, set a reminder. Uh, make this easy on yourself. This isn't something that's fun. I never get excited about backing up my data, but it is really nice when something goes wrong. So set yourself a reminder and make it easy. If you have you know, your favorite tool, whether it's a project management tool like uh, Monday or ClickUp or Asana, or if you're maybe using a task management tool like Todoist, um, or you're just putting it into your calendar so you get a calendar alert and a reminder, that's great. But make it easy on yourself. Have a reminder, write out the steps, uh, especially if you're going you know, more than uh, say a week between, because a lot of times it's easy to forget the exact steps and the stuff changes over time. So as you go in, you wanna be able to quickly, okay, I've got a link, I go here, I click that, it goes into that folder and you're done. Now, speaking of done, make sure that where you have it stored is also a good place to have it. You wanna have somewhere hopefully that is secure, uh, and somewhere that you can access as you need it. Again, this is not meant to be vague, but just make sure that, you know, are, if you're traveling, can you reach this? Um, if you're at home and something happens, can you reach it? Make sure you're using an appropriate service and consider doing some local backups as well every once in a while instead of having everything in the cloud. Again, it's up to you and your risk tolerance, but take these ideas, put it to work. It'll save you a huge problem down the road. Hopefully this video helps you. If you have any questions about it or comments on how to do this yourself, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.